Hey, welcome back to RISC-V CPU design module. We just designed a data pad that supports register-based additions. Let's see if we can generalize it a bit. Can we perhaps modify it to support the subtraction? So remember, subtraction is an instruction of the same R type, and it looks very similar. It actually has the same opcode, same place where we same fields where we will find the destination registers uh, rs1 and rs2 source registers and the same uh, funct3 field there is only one difference that differentiates them uh, it is in the funct7 field and uh, that is the instruction bit 30 that selects whether we are doing addition or subtraction so let's see what should we do to our data path to support subtraction here is our data path that is capable of doing register-based addition. So we had our, our program counter, our adder, fixed adder, for incrementing the program counter by four bytes to point to the next instruction, our instruction memory, our register file, and our ALU. That ALU before was just an adder, but now we need an ALU that is capable of doing both addition and subtraction and all what we need to tell that ALU is to perform addition or subtraction to support add or sub instructions. And that's all. We are pretty much done. So we just need to be able to do these two different instructions. We need to provide another control bit. And that control bit in this case is ALU cell. That ALU cell, if it is a zero, the ALU will perform addition, if it is set to 1, it will perform subtraction. Done. Well, we can go one step beyond from that. We can implement all the other R format instructions just by having a capable arithmetic logic unit. So this ALU now needs to support all the instructions that we have um, of the R format, which are add, sub, shift, left logical, set less than, set less than, unsigned, XOR, S, R, S, uh, shift right logical, shift right arithmetic, or an end, and that's it. We just need to decode the appropriate func7 and uh, func2 fields and set ALU the, to perform appropriate arithmetic or logic operation. That's it. Let's, in the next module, see how we expand this data path to support another instruction type. See you there.